Hi, this is Teacher Arian, and on this video, I'll be discussing how to use the ladder method in converting metric measure to other metric measure. So, in metric system of measurement, uh, gumagamit tayo ng mga prefixes like this on the ladder. So, we have kilo, hecto, deca, deci, centi, and then milli. This base, ito yung mga unit of measure na ginagamit natin dito, yung meter for the length. Uh, we have liter for volume and then grams. We use grams for the mass. And then we just add this prefixes for representing some of those measurements. So let's look at the first example and then let's see how we use the ladder method. So for this, this first example, we have five kilometers and we're trying to convert this to decameters. So the given number is five, that's a whole number. So the decimal point is located here. Okay, so we start with kilo and then we need to get to deca. So from kilo, we need to move one and then two. So two units to the right to get to deca. So yun din yung gagawin natin with our, with our decimal point. So move it two places to the right. We have one and then two. So our new decimal point should be located here. And then for those spaces, we just add zeros. Okay, so we now have 500. So in this conversion, five kilometers is equal to 500 decameters. Okay. So that's how we use the ladder method. Let's look at some more examples. So for in this given, we have 30 milligrams and kailangan natin siya convert to grams or the base form. So we start with milli. Okay, let's write the number first. Given number is 30. Again, this is a whole number. So on decimal point, nasa rightmost. Okay, so let's move from milli to the base. We need to move one, two, three. So three units to the left. We're using the same or gagayahin lang natin yung movement from milli to base is three places to the left. So one, two, and then three. Our new decimal point should be located here. And again, for those spaces, we put zeros. So 30 milligrams is equal to 0 0.03 or three hundredths of a gram. That's how we convert using the ladder method. Next is a fun example. So you have 2400 hectoliters. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so we need to move four units to the right from hecto to centimeters. So, ganun din yung gagawin ulit natin sa decimal point. So, okay, move this four units. One, two, three, and then four. For those spaces, again, we just write zeros. So, 2400 hectoliters is equal to 2400 centimeters. Okay, so, is pa example, last example. So we have 180 decimeters. So we start with deci and then to get to deca, we just need to move two places to the left. So one, okay, so decimal point, then one, two. Our new decimal point should be located here. So 180 decimeters is equal to 1.8 decameters. All right. So that's how we use the ladder method in converting metric units. You just need to know how many places yung kailangan i-move from one of the prefixes to another. And then we also do that to the decimal point on the given number. Okay.